Hi everyone, happy Friday. It's the 8th of January and we're working on our third day of the tiger who came to tea. And today we're gonna to be working on to retrieval again, but this time we're gonna be practicing those skills to see if we can do that a little more independently, um, making sure that you can be like Stevie the retriever and go in and retrieve your answers from the text. So let's get started. We're gonna carry on with the next two pages from our book. Now, if we were in school, you would be reading this with your reading partner and then you'd be having a go at reading it independently. But since you don't have, a, you might not have a reading partner at home, I'm going to continue to give you a model of reading the text and then I want you to pause the video and go back so you can see the, the screen and I want you to have a go at reading it yourself. Um, remember what I said, you can get a little reading buddy, like a stuffed toy if you want to have someone with you to read to you if you don't have a real live partner. So we've already said from yesterday, let's go back and just see the old pages to continue. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that could be. Do you remember why Sophie's mummy said that? Pause the video and answer the question. Right, the someone had rang the bell. We had to talk about ring yesterday, if it was ring like a ring or ring like ringing a doorbell. So someone had rang the bell and mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his key. Stevie. You can hear Stevie whining for her dinner probably. It's not time yet. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So please pause the video, go back and have a go at trying to read the sentences on those two pages with a partner or an adult or your reading buddy friend. But the most important thing is that you do have a go at trying to read those pages because remember, just like at school, we need to practice, practice, practice so we can become fluent and smooth readers. So I'd like you to have a practice at it. When you're done practicing, we're gonna have a look at our steps to success. So our learning objective today is to retrieve. And remember we said being a retriever is a bit like being Stevie the retriever. You have to go into the text and find the answer. So when we read the question, we know the answer is always gonna be found in the text. So that's where we need to go back to. And you're all really, really good text detectives. So I know you'll have a great time at doing that. So starting on our bottom step, I can read the text. Well, we've just done that. I can read the questions. I can find the key words in the question and that's what we were talking about yesterday and that's what we're going to really focus on today. I can find the keywords in the text and I can read the whole sentence around the keywords to help me find my answer. And finally, we didn't put it as a step, but we could have and should have. We know that we need to record our answers by writing them down. So let's get started. If you like to write down all the questions before you get started, you can pause the screen now and you can copy all the questions that you see. You don't have to write down the question though. You can pause after each question and just write your answer on the paper. So it's your choice what you want to do, but just make sure you're pausing the video so you can go and answer the question. So number one, find and copy a word that means a place where you can buy food. Find and copy a word that means a place where you can buy food. Hmm, food, find and copy. This is a good vocabulary question. I'm gonna go back to my first page. Find and copy. I know I have to spell it properly if it's a find and copy. So let me go to the first part of the sentence because I know that my questions come in order in the story. So the first question is probably gonna be at the top of the page. Maybe you can read it with me, I'll pause. Pause the video so you can have a go at reading it. I keep forgetting I pause in the video, but you can pause it yourself at home. Silly Mrs. Madison. So you can pause the video and have a go at reading that sentence and see if you can find the word that tells us a place where you could buy food. Right, I hope you had a go at reading that sentence. Now I'm gonna read it to you to help. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. Did you find the place? That's right, the grocer is where we can buy food. So going back to our questions, you can write number one on your page and we'll finish the word grocer. Now we know a find and copy, we need to spell that word correctly. So if you need to look back in the video to see how you spell that word, please do. Number two, 
why couldn't it be the boy from the grocers? And this is a choosing question. So we have three answers that we could choose. We have to choose the right one from the story. Why couldn't it be the boy from the grocers? A, because he was on a bike. B, because he was wearing a hat. Or C, because this isn't the day he comes. So you can choose either A, B, or C. Pause the video and have a go. Let's go back to the story. If you said I need to go back to the story, that's absolutely brilliant because that's what we need to do to check that our answers are right, even if we think we know them. So let's go back to the story. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. So if you chose C because this isn't the day he comes, well done. Number three, why couldn't it be daddy? Why couldn't it be daddy? Remember, couldn't is could and not. So why could it not be daddy? Let's have a look at the story again. You can pause the video and have a little read to see if you can find the answer. And I'm gonna let you read this one yourself. I'm not gonna read it to you this time. So if we go back to our question, why couldn't it be daddy? That's right because he's got his key. And we know when we are answering a question that has why, we need to use the answer because. So we're gonna spell because, because he has his key. So it couldn't be daddy because his key, he has his key so he could let himself in. Number four is a good searching challenge. Find and copy three adjectives, three adjectives to describe the tiger. So we know that adjectives are describing words. We're gonna choose the page that has the tiger. Should we use that page? Don't think so, I don't see a tiger. There we go. Now we need to reread it. So I'm gonna leave it here. I want you to pause the video and read that lovely sentence. You will probably find it in the first sentence. That's your clue. Three describing words to describe the tiger. Lovely, so let's go back. Three words to describe the tiger. That's right, there was a big, furry, and stripy tiger. Well done, and if we go back to the text, like we do at school, you could be underlining those. Big, furry, stripy tiger, looking for that keyword of tiger. Lovely. Moving along, we've got number five now. What did the tiger ask Sophie and her mummy? What did the tiger ask Sophie and her mummy? And I'm gonna go close the door very quickly while I go back so you can read this because I can hear a grumbling dog and that's not what we need for our reading lesson, is it? So I'll be right back. Right. See, it's just like a regular school day, boys and girls. We have all these silly interruptions, except Stevie usually isn't at school with us, is she? Right. So we're looking for a question, something the tiger asked Sophie. Now we know that when we're asking a question, we use a certain kind of punctuation. Can you think of what kind of punctuation we might be looking for? Is it gonna be a full stop or an exclamation mark or a question mark? What do you think is an asking sentence? That's right, it is a question mark. So let's see if we can spot the question mark. There it is, I spot the question mark. Okay, so now I need to read around it. I need to read the sentence. Maybe you can read it with me. Three, two, one. Do you think I could have tea with you? Lovely, so we've got the question. Do you think I could have tea with you? Let's write that down. You can always pause the video. I'll go back to the bit over here. So if you want to pause it now, so you can copy that down, just like we do at school, we stop and we find and copy. You can pause the video now and you can write down your answer to number five. I'm gonna go back and record it. So, do you think, is it do you think? Yes. Do you do you think I could have tea with you? And of course, I'm gonna end that sentence with a question mark because it's a question sentence. 
All right, let's move along. We're on number six. You're doing really well with your questions. I'm glad you've persevered and I hope that you've been pausing and going back as you need to. True or false? So true or false? Sophie's mummy said, no, you can't come in. True or false? Sophie's mummy said, no, you can't come in. Let's check. Can you pause the, pause the video? Now we're looking for Sophie's mummy said. Sophie's mummy said is the bit in the question. So what are we going to be looking for? Sophie's mummy said. Pause it and have a little look. All right, I hope you had enough time to read it. Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. She said, of course. So, true or false? False. See, I can't stump you. I can't stump you. You're too clever. And if I did stump you, do not worry. You just need to go back and read the text again to figure out where you went wrong. So those are our lovely six questions that we've had for the tiger who came to tea today for retrieval. Tomorrow, we're going to do another reading lesson and we're gonna do some applications. We're gonna try and take some of those skills that we use today and we're going to put them all together in a different text. So we won't be seeing the tiger who came to tea tomorrow. We will be seeing the tiger who came to tea the following day. But thank you very much for doing your lesson. I can't wait to see, take a picture of your answers and share them with the school email address, the year one email address. And I can't wait to see them and we'll respond. So keep up the good work. We're really proud of you and keep working hard. And I've got some lovely Judith Kerr books came in the mail today for author of the month. So expect some lovely videos where I'll read you some more stories by Judith Kerr, not just the tiger who came to tea because even if we're at home, we still need our author of the month. And I hope that you're all having a nice time and we'll see you later. Bye.